In one of our recent videos, we reviewed how Simple spent the best year in his career. It was 2021 when Sasha was in his peak form and Navi won the trophy. But before lifting the well-deserved major trophy, Sasha went through a bit of a rough period where he was named the best player in the world and was receiving MVP medals in big tournaments, but his team simply couldn't keep up with his pace. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you're watching Cybershoak, and in today's slightly nostalgic video, we'll remember how Simple took first place in HLTV ratings for the first time in his career. Now we know that not all our viewers were following CS back then, so let's set the stage with some context. Let's take a look back at what was happening within the team at the time and the condition they were in as they entered 2018. In August of 2017, the PGL Major was held in Poland, the champions of which were Gambit, led by Zeus. Navi failed miserably in that tournament, eliminated from the group stage, winning only one game out of four. These were tough times for Navi, their results had been getting progressively worse by the month, and the atmosphere in the team was so toxic that Seas, recalling that period in an interview, said that he actually lost a lot of weight because of all the stress that he was experiencing. The Krakow Major was their last chance to show a good game, and unfortunately, the guys didn't do so well. Despite this, Simple's incredible skill stood out. Even though Navi lost three out of their four matches, Sasha was the top-rated player in the tournament. On two of the maps they lost, he achieved 30 kills, but unfortunately, it still wasn't enough to secure a victory for Navi. Because of Navi's failure at the Major, they had to make two roster changes. Guardian, who was replaced by Simple, got benched along with Seized. The management wanted to find a good rifler and captain for the newly vacant spots, which was a very challenging task at the time. Luckily for Navi, Zeus had an argument with Gambit and was out of there with a big scandal. He became the IGL of Navi once again and his first decision was to bring Seas back into the lineup. Unfortunately, it quickly became clear that Denise just didn't fit in with the new lineup, so by the end of the year, his place was taken by Electronic, who Navi was finally able to buy out from Flipside. The team was going through some very tough times, making tournament victories seemed out of reach. For instance, in October, an important tournament called Epicenter took place in Moscow. What place do you think Navi got out of the eight teams that played? The correct answer is none, as they failed to qualify qualify for the event. Well, how about the qualifier? What place do you think they got there? The answer is, once again, none. They failed to even qualify there. They were eliminated at the CIS qualifier stage, having failed to defeat the 29th best team in the world, Vega Squadron. But what about Simple? How did the unstable times affect his individual form? Well, let's look at the period from July to December of 2017, during which Navi dropped from number 6 all the way down to number 16 in the world. The situation was rather questionable. Zeus, as the team's leader, responsible for its team play, performed with a KD of 0.77. The other three players had around 1 KD. Simple, in the meantime, had a stunning KD of 1.36. At the beginning of this chapter, we asked ourselves, what shape was Simple in when entering 2018, the year he'd become number one for the first time in his career? Well, here's the answer. Sasha was so strong that despite Navi's numerous problems, their opponents were still a afraid of playing them, because Simple could easily drop a 40 bomb and it was impossible to stop him. The portal Cybersports Roo had a New Year's voting, where its users had to choose the best player in each of the most popular esports games. And despite Navi's poor results, Simple turned out to be the best among CS players. He was also named Player of the Year by FPL's members. At the very beginning of the year, Simple gave a short but very important interview. He was asked to give his prediction for HLTV's top 10 players of 2000. 2017, and he only named other players without including himself. When the interviewer objected and said, Sasha, we both know that you will definitely get into the top 10, Simple replied that he wasn't sure about that because, quote, team achievements are valued more than individual skill. Please keep that phrase in mind, team achievements are valued more than individual skill. We'll revisit it at the end of the video. In February of 2018, Navi went to a familiar tournament for Simple. It was the fourth season of a joint project by Starladder and e -League. The LAN finals were held in Kyiv, and the winner received $130,000. Navi, who had already played with Electronic for long enough, reached the final, where they faced Maus. Overall, the Europeans had to put some effort in to win it, but it wasn't that difficult.
difficult, and they finished the third map with a confident score of 16-9 and took first place. But there was a big surprise waiting for them at the award ceremony, because when the host announced the best player of the tournament, the medal wasn't given to any Mao's player, but to Simple. Overall, this award was very much deserved, but he also scored a rating of over 1.5 on each map of the final. Just two months later, he found himself in the same situation. At a big tournament in Marseille, his team failed miserably in the final against Astralis, but Sasha was so strong that the MVP title went to him once again. And this situation gave Navi a certain reputation. On the one hand, the results speak for themselves, and Simple often acknowledged that he wouldn't be able to perform so well without his team's support. But on the other, there were those saying that without Sasha, Navi wouldn't have even reached the tournament finals in the first place, and that his teammates were holding back his potential. And Simple knew that well. In spring of 2018, he nearly joined a new super team formed by Fallen. The contract was close to being signed, but according to rumors, Navi's management convinced Sasha to give them one last chance at the very last moment. Either way, Simple stayed in Navi, and by the summer of 2018, they were the second best team in the world. His decision not to join the Brazilians turned out to be right. Navi achieved their synergy and won their first big tournament in June. Of course, the MVP went to Simple. After a two-week break, Navi became the champions of the CSGO Asia Championship. And then two more weeks later, they won ESL Cologne. That victory was so important, not only because Cologne is the capital of esports, but also because in the semi-final, they managed to beat Astralis, their main rival. For Simple, this victory was especially important. By this point, he could easily beat any top-tier team, but even so, the Danes were always a formidable opponent. Their style was so systematic to the point of almost being boring, which helped them win despite the fact that Simple had a KD of 1.5. The victory in Cologne showed Simple that now he could even beat the legendary Danes. Here's what he said about it. We feel a lot more confident after the victory in Cologne. It was a tournament where the best teams in the world played, and now we know how to defeat Astralis after their three-month-long dominance. It's easier for us to play against them now. They're in great shape and are continuing their era, but we want to end it and start our own. Overall, Navi finished the season as the second best in the world. It was clear to the whole community that they could become the best but Astralis had accumulated a thousand points in the rating, so more time was needed to overtake them. There were four months left before the end of the year, which included the Major and several big tournaments. The community was already starting to make predictions for the best player of the year. The majority of analysts said that if Navi showed good team results, Sasha could easily get the gold medal. Alas, despite Simple's confidence after winning Cologne, Navi weren't able to end Astralis's era and become the best team in the world. Yes, they were very very strong, but their over-dependence on Simple was their downfall. So when they reached the major final in September, they couldn't even put up a fight against the highly tactical Astralis, who had a plan for every occasion. And at Epicenter, which took place in Moscow at the end of October, the guys confidently reached the finals once more, but lost there to FaZe. Talking about how they managed to defeat Navi, Nico didn't even hide the fact that in half of their buy rounds, they played fakes with only one goal, to make Simple leave b site a mirage to then win the retake. Yes, Navi's results weren't exactly poor. Right after Epicenter, they headed to Copenhagen for Blast, where they did come out as champions, and by the end of the year, they did also get second place in Lisbon, which helped Simple match Get Right's record for the most MVPs in a year. But unfortunately, Navi just couldn't surpass Astralis. That year, Navi faced the Danes in three finals, and managed to win just one map out of those encounters. And so, Sasha's fate in HLTV ratings was still a huge question. It was clear that Simple and Device would be in the top two, but no one could say who would get first place. The rivalry was so equal that some bookmakers even introduced betting on it. And remember how we asked you to keep that phrase in mind from the interview that Sasha gave a year earlier, where he said that team achievements are valued more than individual skill? So, according to his own logic, first place should have gone to Device. The Dane was only a little weaker after all than Simple in individual stats, but had 13 trophies 
trophies, an Intel Grand Slam, and an ongoing era, whereas Sasha only had four trophies. Nevertheless, Simple was the one who was crowned the number one best player of 2018. The authors of the rating said that when they started their analysis, they realized that first place should definitely be given to Simple, no matter what his team achievements were. 2018 was a crucial year for HLTV's rating. Previously, tournament results played a huge role, but Simple's outstanding performance forced the editors to reconsider their approach to rating. In other words, Sasha impressed them so much that they had to make some adjustments to their rules just to award him the top spot. Hey guys, if you're wondering how Simple spent the best year of his career, please watch our video about it. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the best esports content, and we'll see you next time.